Welcome to the Fieldcom.net training series. In this video, we will show you how to upload photos and report forms directly to LPS without needing to view their website. East Point Systems is proud to announce that Fieldcom can now upload the following results directly to LPS. Work order report forms and completion photos. The result types can be uploaded directly to LPS without needing to visit the LPS website. In order to upload results to LPS, you must be using fieldcom.net version 1.4 or later. The version number is found in the bottom right corner of the screen. If your version is less than 1.4, you must update fieldcom to be able to send your results to LPS. If you're unsure of how to update fieldcom, please contact technical support at 860-761-0001 extension 2 for assistance. LPS requires that you use very specific captions to describe the photos that you're submitting to them. Fieldcom's captioning tools have these specific LPS captions integrated to enhance your ease of photo labeling. There are two different photo caption tools that you can use. One's located in the Photos toolbar and the other is the Caption Wizard located in the Photo Tasks menu. The Caption tool located in the toolbar is able to caption many photos at once by applying one caption to all highlighted photos. To utilize it, you first must highlight the specific photos that you want to be captioned. Then check the caption checkbox in the toolbar and begin to type in the caption name. As you begin to type in the caption name, a list of LPS approved photo labels will appear inside the list. Select the label that you want to use and then click the Apply to Selected Photos button and the caption will be applied to all highlighted photos. Now the captioning is done. The Photo Caption Wizard lets you see a larger view of your photos and lets you apply captions to each photo one at a time. To use the Caption Wizard, you should select all of the photos that you want to be captioned. Then click the Photo Tasks menu and select the Caption Photos option. This opens up the Caption Wizard. You can flip through each of the photos and apply the captions to them one by one. As you begin typing in the caption name, a list of LPS approved captions will appear. Each caption is done one at a time, so if you use the Caption Wizard, you will have to use one caption for each of the photos. When you're finished with the caption wizard, click the Save and Close button. If you're unsure if a photo has received a caption, click the magnifying glass to the top left of the photo in question. A larger view of the photo will appear, and you can also see the caption that was applied to the photo. After captions have been added to all of your photos, you will need to mark them for upload, which will tell Fieldcom to upload them to LPS. First, select all of the photos that you want to be uploaded. Then, click on the Photo Tasks menu and choose Mark for Upload. That will place the Marked for Upload checkbox under each of the photos. Now, when you go to the Exchange screen and perform a Send Receive, those photos will be uploaded to LPS. There is only one report form that LPS accepts for the automatic uploads, and that is the LPS PCR2 report form. To get to the LPS PCR2 report, click the Add Report Forms button, and then choose LPS PCR2 from the list. The LPS PCR2 form has several pages to it which encompass all potential situations that might arise when servicing a distressed or REO property. To navigate through these pages, click the arrow buttons at the top of the page. When you've completed the form, you will need to mark it for upload by checking the Upload checkbox. Select Upload, and then click Save and Close to save it. When moving from page to page, or when saving the report, you may receive a screen called a Validation Warning. 
The validation warning alerts you if you have not completed a section of the page properly and gives you a chance to correct the problem. If you choose to ignore the validation warning by clicking continue, you will not be able to upload the form to LPS. After you've marked the photos and report for upload, you'll use the exchange screen to send them to LPS. First, click the save and close button to save the changes that you've made to the order. Then go to the exchange screen and perform a send receive. After the send receive has completed, all of your results will have been sent to LPS. In order to make use of the LPS uploads, you need to have enabled communication with LPS. If you are currently receiving your LPS orders through the exchange screen, you don't need to do anything because you're already connected. If you are not receiving your orders through the exchange screen, contact our customer support department for more information on how to get connected. There are some limitations on the upload capabilities. LPS currently accepts only photos and report forms through the field com uploads. Bids and invoices are not yet accepted. Bids and invoices still need to be submitted to LPS through their proprietary website. Finally, if you have any questions at all about how the LPS uploads work, please give us a call. Our customer support representatives are here to help you.